Okay, this video will be about current collectors because some of the people have some problems with this type of current collector. And what I have here is some conductive HDPE. But what is actually some current collector? The current collector is some conductive plate which you find on the positive and also on the negative side of the battery. For example, here I have this zinc carbon battery, which in this case, this zinc case is the current collector for the negative uh, electrode. And inside of this battery is also placed some carbon rod. And this carbon rod is the current collector for the positive side of the battery. So the current collector, like the name I already say, is some conductive material which collects current. And better is the conductivity of the current collector, better will be also the output power of your device. But if your current collector have bad conductivity, then in this case you will also get some bad output power. So actually, the current collector can be made almost from anything. Only make sure that you choose some material which have some really nice conductivity. And also, what is also really important is that you choose your current collector based on your chemistry. Because if you have some milled electrolyte in your battery, then you can use know, some copper if you want uh, titanium for zinc if the battery is zinc based uh, then you have a bunch of carbon based uh, current collectors like this graphite plate uh, here i have this graph foil uh, and so on but make sure that your current collector will match your uh, battery chemistry because if your battery for example uses some strong uh, acid like sulfuric acid for example, then in this case you will not put some copper or aluminium based current collectors because the electrolyte will eat away uh, the current collector. So in case that your battery uses some strong electrolyte, then in this case I recommend to use some carbon based current collectors. But if you want to use some metal based current collectors like copper, then in this case you need to protect the copper and you protect the copper with this conductive HDP. Also, you don't use only HDP because the conductive HDP don't have so nice conductivity like copper, for example. And for this reason, you will get some really bad performance out from your device. But what you can do you can support the conductive HDPE with some current collector or some material which have better conductivity. So in this case, if you combine some copper and uh, conductive HDP, you will get some really nice current collector. And the setup of making this kind of current collector will be like this. You only put this conductive HDP on this copper foil. In this case, the conductive HDP, this surface, will have the direct contact to the active material and to the electrolyte of the battery. And this conductive HDP will protect the copper and the copper will support the conductive HDP with the conductivity. And just for example, if I measure the conductivity of this conductive HDP, so first here on the surface, I will get around 100, 120 ohms. Okay, but um, this surface conductivity is not so important because you look uh, for the conductivity of this direction. And then
we have the conductivity of 12 13 ohms but if I support this conductive HDP with copper for example like so then I get uh, 2.7 ohms okay if I put some conductive HDP on the top of this graphite plate so the conductivity right now is around 3 ohms and for the last, here I have this graph oil. The graph oil itself also has really nice conductivity. Like you see over here. And now let's see uh, what resistance I will get if I combine this conductive HDP with graph oil. zero point seven ohms so this is a little bit better so if you combine the conductive HDP together with some graph oil you will get some current collector which is really light uh, have really nice resistance to the chemicals and also have really nice conductivity and what is also really nice of using this conductive HDP is that you can simply weld the conductive HDP on the surface of this graph oil. And now I will do some little experiment by welding this conductive HDP on the surface of this graph oil. So first uh, I, will, uh, I will open this uh, top surface of this uh, graph oil by sending like so So this paper is some baking paper and this you will need uh, that uh, the conductive HDP will not stick to your iron. You can press a little bit down to make some really nice contact. Now I get 1.3 ohms. Very nice. So actually it's really simple to make this kind of current collector, but please never use the conductive HDP alone. Always support the conductive HDP with some material which have much much better conductivity so the conductive HDP stick to the graph foil really well because right now I peel off some layer 
of uh, the gap flow. You see? And now the bonus idea of using this conductive HDP is if your battery, uh, for example, uses some carbon felts for the active material, then the carbon felts you can directly weld on uh, on this conductive HDP on one side, and on another side you will weld uh, the conductive HDP on some graph oil. And now what I will do. I will try to make this kind of electrode and then in this case you have the completed electrode for your battery or supercapacitor. So first I will weld the conductive HDP on the surface of graph oil. Sometimes it's better if you use two layers of uh, conductive HDP. And now you need to wait a little bit longer that all the heat will go down uh, to the carbon felt. So at this moment, right now, uh, the carbon felt is welded to this conductive HDP. And the conductive HDP is welded to this graph oil. And actually that's it. So in this case, you have your completed electrode. Not only the current collector, but you have completed Electrode. So the resistance of the entire electrode right now is 0 0.2 ohms, 0 0.3 ohms. So this is the resistance uh, between uh, this graphitic carbon felt, HDPE, and this. Uh, graph oil. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.